Hey, it is Mike. Here I am at James's place, and I got a hack here for NES that was put on a real NES cartridge. Um, it's called Castlevania Blood Moon. Uh, it's got kind of a cool little label there with a um, tombstone and everything. This isn't a real uh, NES game, you know, this was just made by somebody. But I just thought that I would go through and, you know, check it out, see what it's like. Um, you know, this is just going to be unscripted. I'm just going to play through it real quick and sort of do like a little review playthrough of it and just uh, just check it out see if it's any good so yeah let's look at it prepare to die all right well it looks just like the first Castlevania game whoa what happened if you jump over to the left there on top of that gravestone look what happens you freaking freak out <laughs> look at that it's like a glitch see one minute in I already found a glitch all right, so you can upgrade your uh, your hearts. Look at that! Oh, this is just like the first game where you go past the uh, you go past the gate, and then there's like some treasure. Let's see if I can do it. Mm! Yeah, I made it. Yep, and there's the treasure. Okay, there's a sickle. Let's try to use that. It's the friggin' Grim, Grim Reaper's weapon. Mmm, pretty cool. It's kind of like uh, the axe in the original game. So the boss is kind of like the bat. It's the bat, basically. She's got a face this time. <laughs> That's not a good place to stand. Well, trial and error. I know not to stand there next time. Yeah, definitely the weapon you want to have on that. And I got the orb. Oh, yeah. Ah, the map looks just like the map in the original game. I guess it's the same castle. It's the same castle. Well, so far I have to say it's not, um, it's not any harder than the original game. Oh, and those are the friggin' uh, knights from Zelda 2, by the way. Look at that. The fucking knight from uh, the third level. It's the, the, like the third level boss of Zelda 2. That's friggin' funny. Anyhow, like I was saying, um, so far this isn't any harder than the original Castlevania. It's got the same level of difficulty, which is good because the original Castlevania is a hard game. Um, a very hard game. So, I'm glad that they didn't up the difficulty. At least, not yet, they haven't. So, that definitely makes me want to keep playing. I feel like I might be able to get somewhere. Whoa! Alright. It's not like, um, Mega Man 9, where they just made it incredibly hard, right off the bat. That's- these eyeball guys are- Oh, no! I need to shut up and friggin' pay attention to the game instead of trying to narrate over the friggin' video. Alright, for one thing, let me try to see what's up here. Just a regular heart. Okay. Oh, and I fell down again! Oh, I am an asshole. Mmm! No! Fucking A! I was right at the door. Did you see that? Are you kidding me? Fucking unbelievable with this shit. I always hated those fucking Medusas in the original game. Now I fucking remember why. This is really annoying now. See, now I just want to die because now I only have one life. That was always a thing in the original game too. It's like, you want to do good when you first start. Because you want to be able to, you know, make it to the end of the level with as many guys as you can. So that you'll have full energy when you get to the boss. That's exactly what's going on here. Same old shit. This is bringing it all back. See, this is how games friggin' used to be. They were a challenge, and you had to keep doing the board over and over. Until you got good at it. And you gotta figure it all out yourself. Start you off, give you a weapon, and say, Okay, motherfucker, go. Try and live. And that's exactly what it said in the beginning of this game. It said, like, prepare to die or something like that. It said, prepare to fucking die. Well, they were right. Prepare to fucking die is right. Prepare to die, motherfucker! Oh! What did I slip off? I hate these fucking eyeballs! Yes! This video is called Watch Me Suck at Castlevania. Watch how bad Mike sucks at fucking Castlevania. 
What the fuck is that? Like a unicorn or some shit? Somehow still alive. Go, 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 go. Look at this stupid unicorn thing. Whatever the fuck that is. Fairy fucking My Little Pony piece of shit. So I had the boomerang, which was doing me well, and then I decided to get the friggin' bomb, which is just the equivalent of holy water, just because I wanted to see what it did. And that was a big mistake, because now it's making getting through this area much harder. Fuck! Now I got the fucking pony thing after me! And I don't want the fucking bomb! Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. I hate this fucking pink thing! There it is. Oh, I got the fucking boomerang back. Thank God. Die, you bitch. I fucking beat it. Give me the friggin' orb. Yes! Fuck that board. Fuck that fucking board. And fuck the bomb, too. Castlevania blood moon. I'll give you a bloody moon. Ew. They hit you and you go backwards. Imagine if somebody punched you in the face and you fucking went forward. That's the logic this game has. So who do we think the fucking boss of this level is going to be? It's probably going to be who? Well, in the original, it was the mummy. So this is probably just going to be some variation on the mummy, right? By the way, those are definitely the heads uh, from Zelda 2 that are on the wall in the dungeons, in the labyrinths. Ripping off Zelda 2. The most hated Zelda game. Pretty much. I hear Spirit's track. Spirit Tracks is pretty bad too. <sighs> Link on a train? Really? Choo choo! <laughs> it is like the mummies. And I fucking beat it, too. They were easy as shit. Thank God, because that was my last guy. They were really easy. Actually, tell you the truth, the bomb was helpful there, because I think it kind of stunned them. This game is remarkably similar to uh, the first Castlevania, though. I will say that. It's, it's actually a little too similar. They needed to make a few more changes for this... Oh, come on. For this to have been uh, really, really good. It's like... That's what's really unfortunate about this is that they didn't change it just a little bit more it almost feels like you're playing the same game as the first castlevania with this and that's not what you want you're looking for a new experience otherwise why not just play the original i don't think i'm gonna go through and beat this whole game just because of that reason so that, that there you go that's pretty much my review of this game is that it, i'm about halfway through right now and it's fun because it's Castlevania, but there's nothing in here that makes me want to really finish the game because I know that it's... I pretty much know what to expect by now. Even the bosses aren't that much different. Like, the last boss I, I fought was pretty much just the mummy, except he, it just looked like two guys. Um, it just, you know... Um, the controls seem slightly better. I think uh, you, can, you can whip while you're moving, which I don't think you can do in Castlevania 1. Um... From, from memory. Maybe you can. I, I kind of forget. It's Frankenstein. See? He's the same fucking thing. This is why I'm not even... If, I don't even want to go any further. Because it's the same fucking thing. It's just Frankenstein. It's, it's really just kind of a letdown. I can say this much. I don't like that goddamn bomb. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. 